Hey darlings, and welcome back to another video. This one has been overdue for some time because of real life affairs, but those are more or less dealt with now and I'll be back to my usual recording schedule. This video in particular was requested by a handful of people actually, and we're going to talk about the topic of anger management because when someone becomes overwhelmed with anger it can bring out a totally different side to their personality anger can make you say things you would never normally say and do things you would never normally do in the uh, heat of the moment when you're filled with rage you tend to feel an immense and unshakable conviction that you are totally right everyone else totally wrong and this makes it incredibly hard to reason with you then when you do eventually calm down you might find yourself feeling really bad about everything that happened and also very regretful over your behavior you uh, have to work really hard usually to make amends for what you said and what you did while you were enraged in its place anger really does have a uh, useful function if we are threatened the emotion of anger can give us energy and strength to fight off an attacker to protect ourselves and the people we care for anger can motivate us to right or wrong or to stand up for something we strongly believe in when we are angry we are actually stronger physically because of the adrenaline flowing through our body and we feel less pain and are less susceptible to uncomfortable feelings that might get in the way such as self-consciousness and uncertainty this is what makes anger such a uh, seductive emotion because it gives us the uh, feeling that everything is clear you've never been so certain as when you are in a rage as the saying goes make a speech when you're angry and you will make the best speech you'll ever regret however in this complex modern world we live in things are rarely plain black and white or totally simple when we are angry we often experience what is called emotional hijacking that is the overwhelming emotion of intense anger hijacks our capacity to think calmly and clearly and uh, it also prevents us from being able to see alternative ways of looking at a situation in other words the angrier we are the more stupid we become because we get rigidly locked into one single way of looking at the world this may have been quite useful thousands of years ago if we were fighting a wild animal in the jungle but it's a terrible way of dealing with most disagreements in modern life to a uh, very angry person other people become nothing more than objects to be acted upon rather than people to be interacted with and treating people as objects has predictably damaging effects upon relationships in both your personal life and in the workplace 
It used to be widely believed that it is always good to get anger out of your system, that to vent and let off steam is somehow healthy. Mm, research has shown that this is a very dangerous myth. In various psychological experiments, people who vented their anger by repeatedly punching a pillow or shouting about how they felt, well, they ended up feeling even more angry. Their blood pressure was raised, and they actually felt worse than when they started. Regularly expressing anger, far from relieving the feelings, only creates a negative cycle where anger becomes a habit. It's also worth noting that anger does more damage to the heart than any other emotion. When highly angry, the pumping efficiency of the heart can drop by as much as 7%. That's enough to cause a heart attack in susceptible people. People who are very prone to anger are three times more likely to suffer severe heart disease than more even-tempered folk. So, not only is anger potentially damaging to relationships, it is also extremely bad for your health. The next um, hypnotic part of this session is going to train you in how to stop anger in its tracks so that when you encounter a difficult or frustrating situation, instead of being emotionally hijacked by that old anger response, you instinctively calm yourself down and start thinking rationally. Because the more you listen to this session, the more you can calm yourself down and the better relationships will be, the better your health will be. You will find that you will be more naturally staying calm, cool-headed, and able to think clearly in situations where you would once have lost your temper. Now, if you wish, you can close your eyes now, or you can look at me. If you want to close your eyes, just do it right now, as you take a slow, deep breath. You can just let that body really come to rest in a comfortable position, that's it, as you prepare to allow your instinctive mind to learn new automatic responses and to begin this process of making lasting changes inside. I'd like you to just think back for a few moments to a time you were very angry with someone and you were expressing that anger. And as you think about that occasion, just get something of the sense of how that felt in that time being back there, back in that situation, right now, the rising energy and heat in you as things escalate, the absolute focus you have on the person you're angry with, the intensity of the feeling, the way your voice sounds, your gestures and movements. Really notice the sensations of that 
anger. Now, that's it. And then you can do something different and new. I'd like you to just get that sense now of rapidly drifting out of yourself in that situation, like floating off to one side so that you can watch that time from outside, watching the whole scene being acted out over there like a movie on a little screen over there, just observing it all going out in a detached kind of way, drifting a bit further away still, so that the screen seems even smaller until you've got some calm, detached distance from what's going on on that screen. That's it. As you take another slow, deep breath and just watch that scene from the outside and notice your own facial expressions and body movements at that time and notice how the other person or people there are responding, how their faces look what they do or what they say. Now, as you think about that situation from the outside, just as if you were a passerby on the street, glancing in, through a window and glimpsing that angry scene playing out. How is that different, watching it from this detached perspective out here? How do you look different? How does the whole situation feel different from this vantage point? And what is it like to see so clearly how things could so easily calm right down in that scene if the you over there in that past situation knew how to be this calmly detached about things. If the you over there knew how to relax deeply as you're about to relax deeply right now. That's it. Because you can learn to calm that old pattern of responding emotionally right down by repeating and repeatedly conditioning yourself like this to associate a deep calm clarity with those situations that in the past would have triggered that uncontrolled emotional response. And each time you listen to this session, you can choose different memories or the same memory to work on, to practice seeing them from outside, getting some distance from them so that you can learn how to develop new perspectives on things. And right now, it is time to deepen this process by relaxing into an even deeper state of rest and comfort. And it's easier than you might think to begin to do that 
right now because everybody's body knows instinctively how to relax deeply it's part of being human and as you listen to these words I wonder what it would be like to observe yourself now in the space that you're in right now as you are relaxing to these words what's it like to watch your own face to watch those closed eyelids resting to watch the rise and fall of your own chest as you notice yourself looking calmer and calmer more and more at ease with each and every breath you take as those tiny muscles in your face just relax and smooth out as they rest more deeply the shoulder muscles loosening seeing yourself relax twice as deeply inside and that's it and as you drift right inside this deeply relaxed you a part of you can send away of pure calm rolling down into those hands and right down into those feet and those relaxed hands and those relaxed feet can relax even deeper still right now that's it And you may be familiar with the old story of the proud young samurai who climbed the mountain to speak to the old wise sage who was always to be found sitting cross-legged on the peak and of whom it was said that the depth and breadth of his wisdom could never be plumbed and of whom it was further said that he had been a very great swordsman in the distant days of his youth, unmatched in skill and artistry with the blade, no matter who challenged him. And when the young warrior reached the mountain top, he found a frail and bent old man sitting cross legged on a smooth, flat rock in the chill, clear air, gazing out into the distance. And he couldn't help feeling a certain superiority in all of his youth and strength as he towered above this obviously weak and feeble creature. And this led him to put this question rather arrogantly and certainly much too loudly saying bluntly tell me old man about heaven and hell i must know about them and the old man looked up up at him contemptuously and replied with cold disdain i would not waste one moment of my time with you you're nothing but an uncouth lout. And no sooner had these words issued from his mouth than the young man fell into such a rage that he drew his sword 
I would have struck down the old man right then and there, but that the sage was still speaking in a voice as calm as before, but now several shades warmer. And in answer to your question, that is hell. And at once, the samurai saw the truth of these words, regained control of himself, and he sheathed his sword, and bowed low before the sage, and apologized for his behavior, and thanked him for this invaluable lesson. And the wise one looked at him with a gentle twinkle in his eye, and said, and that, my son, is heaven. And as you continue to relax, you can begin to notice a freedom, an opening to the reality of what it's like to be free from the hold that anger used to have over you, no longer under its control, to be free from that old emotional hijacking because the more you relax like this, the more it becomes a solid reality for you. You can really stand up to that anger because enough is enough and it's time for you to be in control of your own mind and your own behavior and in this calmer, more relaxed state right now. You can once again recall that particular memory of that time you got angry and you can start by remembering from the beginning, being back there in the moment when you were just starting to get emotional, when the first little surge of anger was beginning, and that's it. Remembering those old sensations, and then before it gets a single chance to hijack you like it once would have been able to, you can once again drift right out of that situation and see it from the outside and notice how this time everything calms right down. How you, in that situation, suddenly take a deep breath and relax. How the emotion cools right down. And you can watch your own facial muscles in that scene, loosening and calming down. Seeing your own jaw loosening over there, seeing your eyes over there, becoming clearer, more intelligent, able to see different options opening up. That's it. As you notice the you and that old memory behaving completely differently in a much more appropriate, effective way, and they might be calmly firm, 
They might let the other person know that they're not completely happy or that they'd like something to happen. Or they might shrug off the whole matter if this is what's appropriate. But you can notice how much more effectively the you in that memory responds now that they are calm and in control of themselves. And for a few moments, you can get a taste of what the reality is going to be like as you merge with this calmer you and feel this clarity, this confident inner strength, this command of yourself, allowing you to communicate in a truly mature way rather than getting hijacked by those old tantrums, able to calmly and firmly communicate with that person like this, feeling so calm and feeling so clear. as your unconscious mind integrates all these learnings more and more deeply. Each time that you listen regularly to this session, you can find that whenever you're in a situation where you know it's not appropriate to have one of those old tantrums or rages, where at the uh, deepest level, you know it's not going to help matters at all, you can instinctively find that at the very first initial feelings of that old anger, the beginnings of that old out of control heat and loss of temper, you instinctively find you've got a calmer, cooler perspective, you can suddenly see the whole situation from the outside and understand multiple perspectives, seeing it from their perspective, from your perspective, from an outside perspective, really understanding things intelligently and then calmly, firmly, congruently speaking your truth in that situation or perhaps even realizing it's completely unimportant and making a friendly joke to dissolve the situation or shrugging off the whole thing like water off a duck's that's it. And for now, you can begin to return to the here and now, feeling alert and refreshed. And that's it. As you prepare to come all the way back with a real sense of good feeling by noticing the position of your body 
and the sensation of whatever it is you're resting on. That's it. And then, whenever you're ready, you can just have a nice, good stretch and open your eyes. <laughs>